My apartment's too small for a real Christmas tree. Hey there, word nerds! So it's almost Christmas, which is my favorite holiday, and I'm really excited because I get to go home to Georgia where it is a lot warmer than it is in Utah, and there's no snow, so I'm excited about that. Um, anyway, I was thinking that it would be really cool to do something Christmas related for Blogger's Choice today, and I was trying to come up with something that would be cool. And I thought, how cool would it be to have a Christmas ornament that looked like your favorite book? So I made this, and I'm going to show you how. And it takes about five minutes and costs less than a dollar each. You only need a few things to make this. For one, you need some rectangle-shaped pieces of wood. Um, I got these just at a craft store in the wood department. They have lots of different shapes. Um, just find something that's closely the, si the shape of a book, and then you also need something to stick it together with. I have super glue. If super glue scares you, like it does me, but I already had this, you can use hot glue, you could even use double-sided sticky tape if you wanted. You also need some ribbon, any color that you want, and then you just need to print out the covers for your books. So I have this little cover for Fangirl. I just figured out the size of the rectangles. It's on the bag. And um, figured out how wide and tall I needed to make it. I think mine is like three inches across and like an inch and a half down. But it just depends on the size of your wood. So I decided to use two rectangles together. Um, just to make it a little bit thicker. Um, depending on how thick your rectangles are, you can choose how many to use. Also, I use two because that's an easy way to anchor the ribbon. So you just cut a strip of ribbon. You're going to be folding it over. So just decide how long you want your loop to be to hang it on the tree. And you'll take that and you'll just use your super glue, hot glue, whatever, to glue it down on the side of the rectangle and then loop it over and glue it again. Okay, so once you have the little loop glued to the inside of the block, you'll just take your other piece and glue it over where the ribbon is attached with some more of your glue. Ta-da! So you have your uncovered book. So then you take your little book cover that you printed and just figure out where you need to put it. My cover's a little bit bigger than the wood is. Can you see maybe? Yes. So my cover's a little bit bigger than the book is, so I'll end up needing to trim it, but just try and get the picture on your cover centered. I wanted to make sure that Levi wasn't cut off or anything. So you'll just glue that paper. Just a little advice for this part, you're probably all smart enough to figure this out, but um, what I did was glue it onto one side at a time, instead of trying to put glue on all three of the sides and then putting the paper on, because I know I would make a mess. So I made sure to center the front, and glued it onto the front, and then I glued it onto the side, and then I did it onto the back, um, just one side at a time. And so, there you have your little cover glued on all around, and it's a little big, so like I said, um, I just trimmed it down around the edges, and then in the end, I got a little book that you could hang on the tree. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas or have a Christmas tree, you can hang them in your room, maybe make a little bit bigger one, or make a necklace. I don't know, be creative, find some way to use them. But I think they're really cute, and you could do any book you wanted. I'm thinking maybe I want to do the entire Harry Potter series. That would be cool. And so I hope that some of you try this out and make them, or maybe even find another way to make an ornament, because I'm sure there's other ways to do it. 
and I will see you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time when the Word Nerds will be live chatting about genres. And of course we'll be taking your comments and questions as always, and we can't wait for that discussion. Bye!